Whoa! Oh no! Our deer fence! Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. We had a huge storm the other night. Our electricity went out. Uh, our internet went out for like two days and we heard a huge boom. I thought it hit the house. And here we are, there's the house. There's the goat area. Those poor guys must have been freaked out. And we didn't notice this for two days. I drove right past here last night to let the dogs, this is the dog park area and our second garden where Jen grew some watermelons. It was pitch black so I didn't see this. And we have some guests and they told us huge tree came down. They weren't kidding, look at this thing. This whole tree came down and completely crushed our deer fencing. What do you mean? I've been working on the road. Oh yeah, but you should get there. It might be her upstairs. Doesn't matter, they have to say. One benefit of our YouTube channel is we have a lot of footage, including building this deer fence. And in this shot, you can see that huge tree in the background. And then also in this overhead shot, you could see the gigantic tree right in the center. Luckily, the posts are still intact. So we'll be able to put that part back up. I gotta grab the chainsaw. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of firewood if there's any good news out of it, but man, look at it's completely smoked here. You can see where it hit it and just cooked it. Must have been on fire for a little while too. That's a big tree. You know, that was one of the reasons when we put this deer fencing up, I was like, God, I don't want to fence around this huge tree, but I don't want to take the tree down. And I figured it'd be nice for some shade for the dogs because this is like kind of the dog park area. Stay. Stay. Here's one more bit Stay. of flashback footage where you can clearly Wait, see the tree in the background. Sit. So one of the good things about this whole crap hit the fan scenario that's going on right now is that our dogs are super excited. We're home all the time, we're never leaving them. We got this nice hardwood back behind it. So we're gonna have a lot of firewood. We're gonna have to cut this thing up with the chainsaw. Katie, go grab the chainsaw. Can you work on that while I go in the house and watch TV? No. Okay, thanks. And then I'm gonna have to repair my deer fencing. This is the dog's area and now it's ruined. That's crazy. Alyssa, go grab the chainsaw. It's time to get to work. This thing is huge. It's completely charred. It's all black right here. You can see where the lightning hit. Man, it crushed our fence. Hopefully the fence... Luckily the fence poles are still up there. And there. So if I cut this, hopefully I can just reattach it. Crazy. Luckily, happened away from the house, although it ruined our deer fence. There's the other half of it, and this whole thing is just split in half, and this is a huge tree. Imagine the force to split a tree that size in half like that. There's the other half of it. There's the other half of it. Just cooked it. All right, seriously, go grab the chainsaw. I don't want to cut this up myself. Alyssa, do you have the chainsaw? Oh, look, we got a watermelon. Mom. Let's go give that to the goats. And show it to mom, she'd be happy. For yeah, us. we planted watermelon in this deer fence along with a bunch of other stuff that didn't grow. We got some worms actually. I just put it in the garden over there. I haven't put any over here yet though. Kitty, <gasps> look at our watermelon. Don't crush it. You gotta hey, give it to the goats. Katie. Was that yesterday? We've done some major upgrades to our Airbnb unit after it was destroyed by some guests. One of the things we did is right here. This thing is so cool. If you watched the last video, you've seen this one already. We built a TV lift cabinet. We also did a